For the new administration coming in, I think that one of the most important foreign policy and national security issues is Nigeria. Nigeria is the largest country in Africa and it's the second biggest economy. That means that what happens in Nigeria matters for Africa and for the globe. Nigeria is also home to Boko Haram. In 2015, Boko Haram was ranked as one of the four deadliest extremist groups. And it's hard to imagine what that actually means in concrete terms. But in 2014, when almost 300 girls were abducted in Shibok, that really brought to life the terrible impact that Boko Haram has had on Nigerians. I was struck when the governor of Borno State from northern Nigeria was at USIP a couple of months ago and talking about the area of northern Nigeria as a powder keg that's ready to explode. He talked about the tremendous challenge of having to resettle more than two million people who've been displaced by Boko Haram. Peace and security in Nigeria requires much more than a military solution. The U.S. can help Nigerians to rebuild their country, to ensure that the reasons that Boko Haram emerged in the first place are addressed. This means that police and military have to rebuild their relationships with communities. The U.S. also has an important role to continue dialogue with influential leaders like the governor of Borno State, people who are on the front lines of addressing the underlying reasons that Boko Haram emerged and making sure that the advocates who are trying to bring home the girls who were abducted succeed. This is the best way to ensure that Boko Haram or another Boko Haram don't emerge as a threat to Nigeria, to the region, and the rest of the world.